hi guys thank you for coming back to my channel today I hope that you're doing well happy almost October <laughs> hope that you had a good September and that you're excited for October to start I know that I am I believe it's one of the best months if not the best so, um, let's just see what this month has in store for us, shall we? Gracie, Gracie, stop. She keeps biting me. Okay. So, first up, as always, is Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries. You've got my Money on the brain, Aries. Venus in retrograde highlights your money house, prompting you to give your bank statement the eagle eye. Did you really spend that much on shoes this month? It may be time to try to think up new ways of bringing in income. The full moon on the 24th bring some financial surprises though. Someone may come along and help you out unexpectedly, even if it's just picking up the happy hour tab. Hey, that's something right. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. October is about getting things done, Taurus. The new moon on the 8th in a sector of your chart about daily routine and work. You'll be inspired to plow through that project that's been hanging over your head and then have some leftover energy to hit the gym more regularly. The full moon on the 24th pushes you to keep moving forward. Maybe it's time to hunt for a new job or look for a new place in a cooler neighborhood. Look into it now while you're on such a roll. Gemini, 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 Gemini. You're going to spend some solid time this month thinking about where you're headed with work and what you really want to do. That's especially true around the beginning of the month, when Venus goes retrograde in a sector of your chart about work and daily life. If you're not into what you're doing, don't be afraid to make a change. The new moon on the 8th helps you figure out what really brings you joy. And, by the end of the month, you're ready to party. You'll catch up with a bunch of friends and love swapping stories. Basically, you'll be in your element. Cancer, 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 cancer. The month kicks off for you with Libra energy in a sector of your chart that has to do with home and family. The new moon on the 8th only adds to this. Is there peace and harmony in your home or is there tension with your roommate that needs to get settled ASAP? The full moon on the 24th is a good reminder to not forget your friends so reach out and connect with someone you haven't talked to in a while. By the end of the month, you'll be ready to resurrect an old hobby that you've brushed aside. Spend some solid time on it. You'll be surprised just how much you missed it. Leo, 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 Leo. You're all about connecting with others right now, thanks to the new moon on the 8th, 
highlighting a sector of your chart about communication. Don't be afraid to ask for clarification if you're not sure what someone means. Oh, and if you're updating your resume, double check it to make sure it reads the way you're hoping it does. Sometimes what you think you're saying isn't coming across that way. The full moon in Taurus on the 24th makes you pay attention to power struggles in your family. Don't let yourself get dragged into it if you can help it. Virgo, 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 Virgo. The new moon on the 8th highlights your second house of finances and makes you wonder if you're worthy of a pricey treat that comes your way. And yes, you totally are. Venus goes retrograde on the 8th in a sector of your chart about communication, making you rethink the things that you say. Now is a good time to proofread your texts before you send them out, just in case. The Sun in Scorpio on the 24th highlights travel and adventure for you, making you tempted to get out and try something new. Maybe it's time to finally book that vacation that you've been thinking about for eons. Libra, 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 Libra. This is you. If you're Libra, this is your month. The new moon on the 8th in your sign is like a second birthday for you, so get out and celebrate. The full moon in Taurus on the 24th emphasizes fairness and standing up for yourself, so don't be afraid to tell that co-worker who's been dumping extra work on you to handle it himself this time. The sun is in the sector of your chart this month about what you want, making it a great month to score some amazing shopping deals. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. This is also you if your birthday is at the end of October. And this is me, I'm in November. The new moon on the 8th is in a sector of your chart about understanding which helps you think about who you are, where you're going, and what makes you, well, you. When the sun is in Scorpio on the 23rd, you'll feel like you're shining. You're here, and you're ready to make things happen. Oh, by the way, Venus is in your sign, making you look and feel amazing. So, go with it. Sagittarius, 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 Sagittarius. You're all about your buddies this month, Sag. So plan a girls weekend, or a guys weekend, or just a weekend, to celebrate your closest friends. Keep your eyes open for new people who want to join your inner circle. After all, the more, the merrier. The full moon on the 24th makes you wonder how happy you are at work. Also, are you getting paid what you really deserve? It might be time to shop around for a new pay grade. Capricorn. By nature, you like to make plans and figure out how to do it, Capricorn, and that's a great quality. Just know that sometimes you might have ups and downs because there's a pull toward reevaluating 
whether or not your life is going the way that you wanted it. The new moon on the 8th is in your house of career, making you rethink your work. Are you on the right path to getting where you want to be? Take a beat to think about your dreams, but try not to stress too much about it. By the way, now is a good time to connect with your friends. They can help you figure out whether you're overthinking things or really do need to make a change. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. The new moon on the 8th stirs up some strong energy for you, Aquarius, but you can handle it. The first three weekends of the month are all about hanging out with your friends and dreaming big. If you weren't tied to your job, what would you do? The full moon in Taurus on the 24th might bring up an issue at work. It can surprise you, but don't let it rattle you. Instead, take action. And if something goes down, that really isn't a big deal. Just let it go. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Now is the time where it's really important to dig deep into your own creativity, Pisces. The new moon on the 8th is in the sector of your chart about connecting with other people. So don't be afraid to consult with friends about how they tackle particular problem. Then, take their advice and make it your own. The full moon in Taurus on the 24th highlights a sector of your chart about believing in yourself. Now is a good time to listen to your intuition, even if it doesn't necessarily make sense. So, uh, those are all of the horoscopes. What did you think about yours? I thought mine was interesting. I am always doing that, thinking about who am I and what is it that I really want to do, you know, and... I think that's good for all of us to do sometimes, to not get too caught up in the moment and take a step back and ask ourselves, who are we, what are our goals, and what are we working towards, and what's the big picture? So, let me know what you thought about your horoscope, Um, and I here's hoping that October will be good. Um, I think it will be. It's one of the best months. It's chilly and cozy and Halloween, all kinds of fun stuff. So, there will be more fall videos coming up on my channel, so you can stay tuned for that. And also, if you go check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. Um, I'll be having three more videos on there um, during October that won't be on YouTube. So, I hope that you're having a great weekend, and I hope you enjoyed your horoscope, and I will talk to you really soon. Bye.